So what is that big red magical box, bro? That's my new intake. Fuck yeah. Got that ECS intake. Oh damn. It looks butter, dude. Look at that finish on that. I think it's gonna look tight. Pod filter. Giant pod filter. Hell yeah. Damn. Gonna do the shifter today too? Um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, because I was looking at videos and like assembly and like putting it in and all the measurements you have to take and shit like that. It's a process. Like, fucking mish. Yeah. And you need a T45, but luckily I have that because it's the same as like my fucking uh, oil bolt. Yeah. So we're installing an ECS tuning intake on Arthur's Audi and this thing is going to be freaking clean. And it's going to sound so dope. It's going to sound so dope. So dope. It doesn't even need a blow off valve kit. And it's going to look so dope. Oh, that carbon finish is going to be killer. Yeah. Showroom quality. Fuck yeah. T25. Fuck yeah. Get motherfucker, come on. I love working on cars, dude. Even just like the simplest shit. Right? From rebuilding a motor to just selling an intake, dude. It's just fun. Oh, nice meme. How the fuck am I supposed to get that shit? Well, what size is that? Know what I mean? Yep. Probably have it. Get after it with a freaking driver. Yep. You want some turbo? Is your exhaust manifold and the hot side of the turbo the same thing? Yes. That's freaking weird. Right? That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. Kind of a bitch when you have to upgrade the turbo, though. You gotta get a whole new manifold. That's why the turbo is going to be the last thing I do. <laughs> That's pretty efficient though. Yeah. Makes for a lot more compact system. Let's try 930 seconds. Probably going to be metric, but that'll work. I mean, they don't really hold much. No. They're not on there super tight, so. Goodbye. Turbo inlet hose. Gets replaced with that uh, ECS rubber hose, right? Mm-hmm. I'm still on there too tight. Maybe undo it a little more. Yeah. Maybe it's got like a little lip on it. Maybe it does. I do not understand. Fucking finally. There you go. Did it have a lip? Yeah, it does yep. have a little lip under there. Look at that. There it is. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I just leave it like that, dude. Fuck it. Weight reduction. <laughs> NA power. That whole bracket comes off. Yeah. It's going to be, uh, there's a spacer that goes in there, and then a new bracket is installed. For sure. Pass it on like that. Alright, that is on. It's on. A lot of the people are saying that the hardest part of this is getting that um, hose back onto the turbo. I can see that. I got some grease though. So. We're like, ideally you want to do this in a controlled environment with lots of tools. There it is. Your filter's clean, dude. Yeah, but it's not a cold air intake. I know. Take our other heat shield. Oh, so that guy sits on the bottom down there. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. Now, Spicy meatball. Spicy meatball. Is this four millimeter? Nope, that's seven. Never mind. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, I need a four millimeter. Yeah, four? Yeah. I think I might have one. Thank you, sir. Oh. As I said, over tightening could crack the carbon fiber. Do you want an impact? Yeah, dude. The thing is like stupid light. That is some stout plastic. Shit. Oh, that fits like butter. Fuck. What? I think I might have done this wrong. Why is that? Oh, is the math on backwards? Oh, it goes on like that? <laughs> I'm holding the clip. Oh, shit. Because on the inside, I forgot that this is a cover for it. <laughs> right. So. Don't you want to tighten that clip down? Oh, yeah. Holding it like that looks like you have like a cyber arm. <laughs> <laughs> the man with the carbon fiber hand. Right. It's like a. Bionic shield or some shit. Right. And a laser gun. I'm cyborg, bro. Cyborg. I like how it has the two layers. Like, that's pretty yeah. sick. Don't kill it. This thing, like, weighs nothing. I guess and say you put the charge backing on. So you mount it here first, and then you line the grommets up. I think it was absolutely nothing. <laughs> right. So that plugs in first, and then those guys go on. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Sure, once everything else is on, it'll stay in place. That looks tight. So dope. 
Well, there's two little like uh, tangs that it goes on. Oh, it clips into the back of it. Yeah. Okay. So it keeps it in place. Yeah, let's go get some ice cream. There's just something about aftermarket parts that are perfectly designed to fit. It just feels so good. <laughs> I'm right? just like, I'm surprised this thing went in so clean. Like you buy like an eBay pod filter and you have to find your own way to secure it and shit. But this <laughs> is just like butter. That's why you pay the money. Right. Oh, dude, is that AutoZone intake? Yeah, oh, dude. How'd you know? Oh, dude, because I bought one for my Corolla AutoZone. Your Corolla S? Oceanside Luxury? No, it's just a Corolla. Oh, shit. I put the clips on first. You right. That clamp down there is going to be fun to tighten. Oh, yeah. That's what I was saying. We should have put that thing on first. You know what I mean? Probably just take it out. This is probably what gave people problems. But I think outside the air box. Outside See what I did there? Box. See what I did there? Did. See what I did there? Yeah. I made a meme. Oof. That low key went on like butter. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like that went on so easy. Here, get that straightened out. Now let's leave that there because we're gonna have to rotate this mm -hmm. to get the airbox on. But if we leave that right there, it'll be a lot easier to tighten down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So let's get it a little bit tight for now. So that way it's loose enough to where we can rotate it and then tighten it down later. That should be good. So it's still rotated so we can rotate it and get it on the math, but it's not it's not gonna come off. At least being in here makes it hard for it to get in. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe we need to put it on onto the hose. You know what? Let me try putting that thing in. Another one. Another one. Yeah. Just See what right? I said, bro? What size is that? 930 seconds. Oh, it's already it's already good. The bottom one? Oh, the bottom one? Yeah. Butter. Now the strap goes back on. Ooh. There it is. That's it then, dude. That's it. It's on there. Ready to fire it up? Fuck yeah. Oh, it looks so good. It's so shiny. I know. New car parts. That sounds deeper. You wanna take it for a spin? Yeah. You can totally hear it now. The blow off valve, you can hear that? Yeah. And you can hear it spooling too? Yeah. Oh. It's so good. Oh my god. Oh, Hell so yeah. Good. Quinn's driving the Audi. So I could hear the intake. I want you to stick your head out the window because you can hear it. Alright. <laughs> that sounds so sick. Right? So sick. Dude, it's so much louder oh, outside God. the car. Yeah. That thing sounds freaking nice. It's like low key subtle. You hear the turbo noises, but you do hear them. That sounds nice, dude. You hear the wastegate, you hear the spool. You didn't hear any of that with the stock intake on. You didn't hear it at all. You just heard the exhaust note. Dude, it's dope as fuck. That thing is loud from outside. Wanna hear it? I'm so down. Fuck yeah, dude. All right, I'm gonna cross, stand in the same position. How happy does that make you? Dude, I'm like oh, shaking inside. Like. Straight up. <laughs> you might not even have to get a wastegate now, honestly. Honestly. Like, that's perfect. I got some flutter in second gear. Yeah. No. Dude, I'm gonna be stoked on that for the rest of my life. Stock intake is just so muted. That's insane. Dude, everything on the car, stock, like is so, just makes it so quiet. Yeah. Like those resonators, the muffler, the intake, like. Yeah, right. Everything is like trying to dampen everything just to make this like a quiet business class car. Like, nah. Fuck that. That's not what it's about.
about race car. She needs a wash. Now she does just need a wash, but that is lit, dude. That's so nice. New shift kit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Coming soon. It's coming together, dude. It really is. It really is. Slowly but surely. Right. I knew I was going to have to drop a little extra money into it, but it's, it's so worth it. Fuck, it life. is. Yeah. That shift is going to be cherry on top, too. It will be. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh, and I will see you guys later.